what does Krishna say in the Bhagavad Gita? Again, see, are you, you going to do this analysis or take advantage of the analysis of revealed truth? So we try to come under the influence of the revealed truth. We say, oh, in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says, above the objects are the sense of the senses, are the <coughs> senses. They're higher, refined, they're superior. But above the senses is the mind. Okay, the mind is higher than the senses, and it's the seat of sense experience. Then he says, finer than the mind is intelligence. And you say, okay, now I understand intelligence. Discriminating factor, because the mind has no discriminating ability. So we're told you need to infuse the intelligence with Dharma Bhuti, back to Sadhu Shastra Guru Vaishnav. Finer than intelligence, he's saying is what? That's the beginning of the Atma plane. So that's where the self is located. So if you're viewing the self from the outside in and seeing yourself in terms of gender, nationality, age, all of these things, you're not having a proper glimpse of yourself and who you are and what is your potential. How can you proceed? So you have people thinking the most important thing of their, uh, aspect of their lives is their sexuality. That's who they are and they need to express their sexuality and then they'll be free, they'll be liberated, they'll live a life of freedom and happiness by identifying with a particular aspect of sexuality. I mean, I'm not making this up. Right? So they think, that's freedom, freedom to express yourself, that I, I profess this type of sexual preference. Now I'm a liberated soul. And I want to be viewed exclusively in terms of my sexuality. So then we have to consider, what is freedom? What is liberation? Well, Guru Maharaj, as usual, put it in the proper terms. Freedom for the senses or freedom from the senses? Most people will think, no, it means freedom for the senses, to do what you want. Right? So should we say that someone who's under the influence and the language of the scripture, you know, vacho, vega, the belly, tongue, and genitals, they're engaged in self-expression? That's a liberated position. Really? Right. The, the tongue wants to eat this, so I allow the tongue to drag me in a direction. That's freedom. I'm, I'm expressing who I am. I remember when I was a teenager and I'd become a vegetarian, and a friend of mine, we were like having this discussion back and forth, and he's like, well, why are you doing this? And, at the time, it was for me an intuitive thing. It wasn't based upon a lot of uh, an analytical thought. It was just an intuitive compulsion. But he was starting to feel defensive about eating meat. So he once said to me, he said, you know, when I eat a steak, it's, a, it's an expression of my love for the cow. And we were in a band. And the lead guitarist turned to him and said, that's total bullshit. <laughs> like, do you expect us to believe that? <laughs> he, even he thought, I mean, who was not, not a vegetarian, he thought it was an absurd, uh, how do you say, what's the word, denial. He said, it's an expression of my love for the cow. I know, you should be careful who you love. Or, tho or those whom you love should be careful in dealing with you.